This is what the instrumental of Heartless sounds like. And it's the perfect soundtrack to The Weeknd's life. But what actually makes this beat so special? And how did Matchbumi create this nostalgic but modern feel at the same time? To answer all of those questions, we need to understand the album After Hours. Which is about a deeply broken man who indulges himself in the meaningless pleasure of being a star. Women, alcohol, gambling, drugs and many more. There is one half of The Weeknd's character which really enjoys that. But there's also the other half which loves his girl. But she cannot keep living like this anymore. So she gave him the choice. Either keep her or keep the lifestyle. The Weeknd really struggles with that decision. Until in Heartless, he made up his mind. He chooses the lifestyle, the limitless pleasure. And therefore goes completely overboard with girls, drugs, gambling and everything. But as the album keeps evolving, The Weeknd wakes up to the shocking reality that he loves her more than the lifestyle. Now she's gone. And now you love me for a second time. And thanks to this broad overview of the album, we now have the capability to figure out why the beat of Heartless is the perfect soundtrack to The Weeknd's life. There are those three components which have to play perfectly together to create this masterpiece. It is the composition, which is melody and harmony, and they both have to be perfectly on point. Have you ever heard a good score with a bad melody? No, of course not. That's why this song starts off with a really chill and laid back melody. But since this melody would get boring really quick, it evolves in the second half during the first verse into this. During the chorus, they are all getting taken out, and only this new bass line starts playing, which ties it perfectly to the third component, which we'll talk about later. Which is funny enough, one of the reasons why I think the instrumental of Heartless is the perfect soundtrack to The Weeknd's life. It is because there are already two melodies, but neither of them are really catchy or fulfilling. Exactly like the temptations that The Weeknd experiences in Las Vegas, which are cool and new, but not really fulfilling. But this first component just creates the foundation. It's just one of the three components which create the perfect beat to The Weeknd's life. And that's because if you would miss up the second component, you would create a whole different story. And to prevent this from happening, the sound design, there's two things really, really smart. Number one is setting the time and place of the story. Tell me this doesn't sound 80s, come on. So how did Metro Dre Moon and El Angelo create this feeling? One of the reasons is they used vintage synthesizers. Well, sort of. El Angelo, who almost produced the whole weekend discography, used this diva preset on Alone Again and this one on After Hours. And also for Heartless, I found some extremely close sounds in diva, like this pad. Or my favorite melody, which starts playing in the second verse. And the other way the time, feeling and space got set was with drum sounds from actual 80s drum machines, like the TR-808, 606, Lindrum or DMX. The vintage drum machines and synths create a sound scale and bass for the feeling. But there's also something more to this. The Weeknd really wants to give you the experience of being on this heartless, reckless trip in Las Vegas with him. So what does he and his producer team do to really pull you in, to let you feel what he's feeling? Not just lyric-wise, but also sound design-wise. And they do this with sound effects, like this one into the first drop. And then, as soon as the first drop is over, we get another swelling, leading into the siren sound. (laughs) 
leading into another swell. It's just non-stop, you're just getting dragged through whole Las Vegas with the weekend. And the beat already sounds so cool, but those were just two of three stages. The last stage is the reason why El Angelo said this. You really don't want any other section having the same impact that the last chorus does. The structure of this song is so amazing. It uses all of the tools that I gave you so far and 10 x it. Because after the first chorus is over, we're not going back to the verse 1 sounds, which we could do because they are so different and unique and it would still feel refreshing. We get new melodies, new sound effects, new everything. And the second chorus now has this reverse lead in there, which makes it bigger than the previous chorus. And what do you think is gonna happen after the second chorus? Again, more. No, actually not, <laughs> because this is the perfect score for The weekend's character. And at this point he's starting to get some doubt if he has actually made the right decision. That's why the instrumental now just consists of a bass, a reverb piano and pad. It almost feels like you're in a club and just starting to sober up a little bit and wonder where you actually are and what you've done. But of course, before The weekend could actually get his thoughts together, there is a new, bigger and louder temptation than ever before. That's why the last chorus is the biggest of all. And with all of this knowledge in one beat, I hope you took away some really valuable concepts and can apply them to your own music. Here are also all of the core progressions of After Hours. But if you want the same starting point as the greats who used analog drum machines for all of those hit songs, this drum kit provides you with the iconic and pure sounds from those four drum machines, but also the modern and rich tones which can be found in the Weekend or Metro production. It's the first link in the description and thanks for watching.